Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Um, whew, it's a lovely Sunday. I had just a nice, relaxing, just knitting, mooching around kind of day. So I hope yours has been lovely as well. Just what Sundays should be about. <laughs> um, yeah, the chickens started popping. So, but not today. Day of rest. Not today. Um, yeah, she had a day off, but yeah, no, I've got a full box of of eggs, bless her. So she's um, she must be feeling springy. But oh gosh, can we just have some sun? We do some sun tomorrow. Yes, in the forecast. So laundry day. I just want to. I just want to get on with the spring clean. I don't know if you're like me. I just want to get on with the spring clean. I want to get the curtains done, the bed linen done, everything just done. Knowing you can put it out on the line and it will dry. And it will dry with fresh air invigorated within it you know <laughs> not on the radiators filling up you see the problem is because the prices of everything are so expensive the gas and all the rest of it you can't put the, the radiators on you can't dry your stuff on the radiators i don't have a tumble dryer so that option's out so all in all you're sort of you're just getting by really but oh wouldn't it be lovely oh I'm so jealous. We get on with the garden as well, warm the soil up. We can get out there and get on with the garden. But anyway, as it stands today, it's a mute day. It's just chilling out. This is the only warm room in the house. So I really, really want my apple crumble. So I've brought the job into here. <laughs> We're going to do all the prep in here and then just stick it in the oven. But uh, what else am I doing? So I am editing the next video, which um, will explain a little bit more as to why I've been absent. I think, what was it, it's been a couple of weeks since I last tuned in and you just, we were just ranting away, ranting at life, ranting at the world, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so that's me. That's what I'm up to. Um, third week at the farm shop, doing really well. Yep. Um, still pretty much got the hang of the till now. Uh, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of an arkwright till. For those in the kingdom, you'll know what I'm on about. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's and she does all these sort of fancy breads and things. So it's just getting your head around all the different breads um, and the prices and all the rest of it. But yeah, I know she's got some lovely stuff. I've brought, I've brought back this this week. I've brought a crab, Orkney crab um, pate because I thought I don't really eat much seafood sort of stuff. And there's obviously. Um, nutrients sort of iodine and things like that that are in that come from the sea that are in the land but the more and more you you grow within the land you are using up that iodine to the point where a lot of the foods that we grow now don't have those nutrients and stuff in so um i thought oh do you know what every now and again it's nice to just have something completely out completely different completely off topic you know yeah so uh, that's that's that. Yeah, really nice. But I'm I've been charity shopping again. I've got to stop this um, again because I'm I'm stretching my pennies at the moment. But oh, I went back to the charity shop. You know the charity shop where I got um, where I got these from the Viellas. So that was number four. And number five, or what? Either way, whatever. And uh, I found this make do amend, and it's so cool. It's got all the um, it's got all your your ration items, your points, what your coupons were. It's got a quiz. It's got a quiz of you know of how um things this and the other. I bet you there's a lot of people out there that have got this, but I didn't. I did, and now I found it. Yay! Miss so and so. Ha ha ha. Um, but yeah, no, the where's the wrap? Where's the coupons? The first thing I need is a dressing gown. That is eight 
points, I think, for a lady's dressing gown. Let's have a look. Matinee. Da, 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 da. Dressing gown, one piece. Hang on, this might be for the children. Yeah, that's the infants. Yeah. But dressing gown, here we are. Dressing gown for me. Woman. Da, 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 da. Dressing gown. Pajamas, night dress. Here we are. Dressing gown. If, if woolen, eight points. And a dressing gown, if not woolen, seven points. You've got a night dress at six and a pyjama suit at eight. And um, when it comes to your knitting yarn, it says the number of coupons required for hand knitting yarn containing more than 16% by weight of wool is one coupon for every two ounces. So, I mean, we buy our knitting yarn in sort of 50 gram balls, don't we? So that would be one coupon. Yes, yes. So, yeah. I'm currently starting um, another pair of mittens. So yeah, so this would be, this would be one coupon. Oh God, I'm not lost. What have I done? Oh no, we're all right, we're all right. Ooh. Yes, so one coupon for that. It's going to make me yourself a nice pair of mittens, unless that weighs in at 100 grams. I've lost the label. I've got a clue, but it feels a bit a bit woolly, but also a bit acrylicy. So we're going to go with a 50/50 on that one. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice looking colour. But um, it started where when it first came in, it was you got in the first year you got 66 points, which you know I mean. How do you even use 66 points? If you, I mean, if you're anything like me, I don't get new clothes that often. I really don't. But you know, 66 points, but it went right down to, I think it went down to 20 or 24. It says, it says in the front, in the intro, I should have really read this again before I clicked on, but you know, whatever. But yeah, the dressing gown, I, my old dressing gown is so tatty. So I've been online and I've been trying to find a um, a made in England, you know, or made in Britain, you know, a local made to my area sort of dressing gown. Uh, woolen as well, preferably, because that's what you want out of a dressing gown in the thick of winter, although we're going into spring now. Not that the weather knows it. The weather doesn't seem to know. I've just seen on um, Vintage Kitchen... She's got snow in Canada, so God bless her. Hello to everyone, all the new subscribers over the last couple of weeks. Welcome to the welcome to 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 the gang. Welcome to welcome to us all. We're a good bunch here, you know. Message each other, chat in the comments, do what you need to. Um, yeah. So welcome, welcome. Uh, apologies if I don't get to comment to everything, but you know, I do my best. Um, so. Yeah, anyway, back to the dressing gown. So I thought what I could do was, because I haven't got any decent work trousers for out in the garden, you know, when you're just in your scruff, you know. So I thought what I could do is I could unpick the dressing gown that I've got and I could turn it into maybe one or perhaps even two pairs of sort of breeks, you know, or something like that. You know, I could do sort of, because a dressing gown's got quite big panels of fabric, hasn't it? So I thought, right, well, if I unstitch it all and then just sort of whip stitch something, um, then I could have a couple of pairs of uh, work trousers for the garden. And if they get scruffy, it doesn't matter because it, it's already scruffy, you know? But when you've got your dressing gown, you like to wear something nice, don't you? You know, of an evening when you're kicking back, you want to feel like a lady and you want to wear something nice and lovely. So yeah, I think that's my plan. I've ended up going, there's a couple of brands that do um, woolen dressing gowns made in the UK, but they were for blokes, they were for men. I'm sorry, I do apologize. They were for gentlemen, yes. You're looking at the 500 plus pounds sterling region. So scrap that. I did find one brand that are in Scotland and they make 
I think it's sort of 20% wool to 80% cotton or something like that. And that comes in at about the price point of about £180, I think they're PJ Pan or, or something. They're, they're something like that. I mean, look, I looked into this a couple of weeks ago. It was just like, oh gosh, flight of fancy, you know, so I still haven't got around to doing it. But, um, yes, they do ladies and it's at a price point that I can afford just about. However, again, the latest news means that, you know, Rebecca's got to not spend anymore. No more spending. Oh, no. I do enjoy going around finding my little knickknacks and things. I can't even, I can't go into charity shops now. I just simply can't allow myself to be tempted. I've just got to sit here knitting through what I've got left of my yarn. Um, yeah. You know, and there's, there's quite a lot of that. I've got two full boxes, a cupboard, and a duvet bag full of yarn. So that's gonna keep me busy. It's gonna keep me busy. And uh, yes, I'm, st I'm stocked. I've stocked my shop. Um, my socks now are in a sort of gift shop in my local town, and then at the farm shop. And you know, Selling one or two items. I've got my little cottage industry business on the go. <laughs> so, you know. Um, yeah, I'm sure I was making a point, but I've completely forgotten what it was. So we'll move on. But yeah, no, this is really fun. Really fun for um, just looking through. And I've, I've stitched, I've used this, this page, for darning your fabrics and re-enhancing your woolies. So... A pair of socks that I sold to a lady for her daughter for Christmas. Her daughter is basically living in these socks. There is a massive hole. You know, she's worn them, she's worn them through. So I have used this and I've reinforced her, her socks. And then also I've managed to patch up the, the hole that was in there. Because, um, I mean, you know... Probably not in the greatest fashion, but saying it was the first time I've ever tried it, you know. I'm a knitter and I've been knitting for 30 years on and off, but I've never actually patched anything up. Because, you know, I don't even know what, there's no reasonable reason for this, is there? But, you know, that's it. But yeah, no, so I've darned a hole using this book. So, lovely, 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 lovely. The next one I found was a 50s book. I think this is 1950 or 1951. And it is Every Woman's Book of Homemaking, which I thought was rather quaint. Now you see, I'm now getting from this, I'm getting series one bewitched vibes. I'm getting Elizabeth Montgomery. I'm just getting, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, it's, it's, it's wafting over this way, the, the bewitched vibes, yes, but. <laughs> Um, I'm, I don't, I'm not actually, to be honest, I'm not actually flicked through yet. I just simply haven't had time. But I think, you know, in some ways, I think with this book, you either take it with a pinch of salt or not. Because obviously it's quite clearly written probably by men aimed at women to be wonderful. You know, to cook their dinners and clean their clothes and all the rest of it. However, and raise the children. However... Which is absolutely nothing wrong with that. If that's your bag, you're a trad wife, you go for it, my love. I probably would be if I had a Mr. Wonderful in my life. But sadly, he's not rocked up. So um, it's just me and the chicken. But, uh, <laughs> you know, that suits me. <laughs> the eccentric, that suits me. But, you know, you've got things here like plugging walls. Okay, I'm flicking through this book now and all of a sudden I'm changing my mind. Loose doorknobs, plugging walls, and what else have they got? Any new washers, a leaky bulwark. Okay, do you know what? I tell a lie. I reckon this book's going to be full of great information because I've just seen a toilet system in there as well. I don't think they'd be putting that in a Dainty Lady's book. So, yeah, you know, have a good read through that. I wonder if they've got budgeting in here. Let's have a look, see what the introduction is. Well, it's contents the house, the house, da -da -da, furnishing for comfort, equipping the home, running a home. The ABC of home cleaning. Ooh. 
Leave that to mother. Leave that to, to Ben. Uh, keeping your house in order. Okay. Moving. Moving house. Ooh. Moving house. Now that is going to be worth the read. Because, I mean, spoiler alert for the next video. The reason why I've been very, very busy and very not, not with you guys, please don't take it take offence, no one in real life has seen me either because I just simply haven't got time. This is the first time where I felt like I've got a bit of, I can just chill out and just, just chat with you guys. Um, I'm moving home, hopefully, fingers crossed. Basically, I went and viewed a lovely little cottage, proper little cottage. Um, it's the most adorable little thing. It's, it's even got the understairs cupboard door. It's even got, um, it doesn't have a doorknob. It's got where the shape of your fingers, where you put your fingers in and, pu and pull it open. I mean, it's got history. The, 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 the stairs are slightly worn, you know. It's one of those, it's, it's a kind of cottage where the door isn't straight like any other door, you know. It's actually on the wonk. It's like a Tim Burton, it's on the wonk, you know, I mean, it's... But I get excited and I'm, I can't, I'm not allowed to. I can't because it could easily just be snapped away from me tomorrow. Some cash buyer could just come in and offer the equivalent or more and I've lost my little cottage. So I cannot allow myself to get excited. However, secretly, Yeah, anyway, yeah, so moving home, the money side. Ah, ha, 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 okay. Catering and marketing, shortcuts to cookery, laundry work and home dyeing, everyday etiquette, hobbies and handicraft, home pets, happy holidays, the children's room, law for the householder. Okay, law. Genuinely, oh, the yard dog, okay. Okay, right, cool. Um, yes, yeah, so anyway, so that's actually going to, I think that's going to be an interesting book to read, that one. And then this one is the big book of Needlecraft, which is, I believe it's 1930s. I think it's 1930. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, oh that's adorable. Oh, I do love old books. It doesn't smell like an old book, though. Oh, no, it does. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love it. I love these, like, you know, the, you know when you get these plates? They're not pictures or anything. They're plates, aren't they? These coloured plates. Um, yeah, needle book. Da, 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 da. Copyright. C837, printed in Great Britain. Hmm, I don't know what that means. I don't know what year this is. I, I think it might be 30s. Possibly, because if it was 50s, it'd have a picture like that sort of on it, wouldn't it? But I mean, it doesn't, it's, it's you know. So I'm gonna assume this is, this is about 30s. If it's any older, that'd be even cooler, but you know. But anyway, yes, it's got pretty much, oh dear Lord, it's got pretty much everything in here that you could possibly need to learn or know. And the knitting section, I think, is all the way back here. We've got smocking. I'm not into smocking. I don't, you know, not that keen on it. We've got tassels. We've got felt work. Useful washing tips. Handmade flowers. I mean, any craft involving textiles. I mean, it's even got leather work in here. Leather craft. You know, how amazing is that? We've got weaving. When I was about six or seven... For Christmas, I got a loom. My parents bought me a loom for weaving. And I got bored with it so quickly. I think it was because it wasn't an industrial one. It was just like a, a toy. It was a toy one to make a scarf on or something like that. And I would keep pulling things through and it would just be all hodgepodge. It wouldn't be nice, nice and straight and everything. So I gave up with it because I was just like, this is just... Get me a proper one. I don't bother, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, we've got crochet. You see, now I do, I think I might have to set myself a an aim for this year, which is to learn how to crochet. You know, once I'm sat in my little cottage with very little to do, other than the, the fire burning along, talking to the chicken, 
A plique? What is a plique? Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to. I mean, I'm gonna have to probably have to YouTube that. Actually, what is a plique? It's a p p l i q u e, with the zippy over the top of the e. Yeah, stitchery. Yeah. Anyway, so lovely, lovely books, lovely books that I'm reading. But um, yeah. So the uh, the chaps being around. Yeah. So anyway, I, I went and viewed this this cottage on the Tuesday. The chaps made 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 the offer on the Tuesday, then went straight to work. So that was all rather exciting. I was buzzing that day. And then Wednesday, I have absolutely blitzed this house. Um, the amount of tip trips that I have done, they know me by name down there now. They really do. Um, and uh, yeah, just basically clearing out, giving stuff away, putting stuff on Facebook. What, you know, anything worth, you know, a little bit more than just whatever, you know, see if you can get a fiver for it. If not, you know, just give stuff away. Anything that might be useful to somebody, give it away, you know. And, um, yeah, so all in all, that's been busy, busy. And then I started um, painting, you know, trying to freshen the house up a bit. Because this room, I've still got two paints, two, two pots of the paint for this room. I've got three pots of paint left for the hallway and the landing and the stairs you know i've still got all these colors left all these pots of paint so there was a wix trip in amongst that so it's all been crazy busy it's all been crazy busy you know but um, he, then the uh, the chap came around to value my house and uh yeah that was all good that was all good so yeah all this sort of kicked off really because me and mother we were just driving along and we saw the for sale sign so we obviously just pulled up and um just decided to wander all around this this lady's back garden and uh yeah so <laughs> that's what you do on mother's day <laughs> we we're on our way for a treat and it was like well oh, actually hmm, maybe not <laughs> maybe we we're going on nosy into this this empty property and uh, yeah, so again, I can't allow myself to get too excited, but you know, it's all good. So yeah, the house is pretty much empty now. I have blitzed this place and um, I have been painting and I have been, you know, just moving stuff around. So yeah, the neighbors aren't happy. They don't want me to go, but uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to, they should come and move with me, <laughs> you know, we should, you know, but no, they're happy where they are, so, and it's not like I'm not going to be coming around for cups of tea, of course I am, um, in other news, mummy might be buying this house, I don't know, I don't know, you know, or it might go to, to somebody as their lovely family home, I don't know, but I just, for years I've been thinking, why am I just a single person shuffling around a family home? I don't need half the space like so the cottage is half the size of this building if that it's tiny it's cute and it's tiny um but uh yeah I don't I don't need two sitting rooms I don't need three bedrooms what do I need that for it's only me you know so um yeah but here we go to another week so this week should be fun because this week will be the the week where the house goes on the market and the viewings start to come in get the garden sorted that desperately needs doing desperately um i have got a few bits and bobs that i've chucked into the garden but i mean the weeding just tidying it up you know desperately needs doing so yeah, we hang, we hanker back to the whole spring clean. Come on, you're supposed to be spring now. Give us some sunshine. Give me sunshine <laughs> in your eyes. <laughs> oh, God bless them. Anyway, right, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I just wish you well. Um, if you're in Canada and you're covered in snow, think warm thoughts. Keep calm, carry on. Putin. Oh my lordy, definitely keep calm and carry on. Um, the American banking system, what's that all about? What's going on? 
when you know I've literally just took my head out of the ground for a moment just to see what's happening in the world and I've got oh no 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 bye bye back down <laughs> back down again that's all I know that's all I know that's all I need to know really just I'll carry on in our own little worlds and we'll be fine just carrying on we'll be all good pick up your knitting needles there you'll be fine <laughs> but anyway love you love you lots